they gave me uh, six months, two months ago, so mm. we'll see what happens. Then what? Uh, but his real fight is for the children of Eastern Kentucky. While recovering from one round of cancer treatment, Jim watched a television program about education and drug problems among young people in Eastern Kentucky. He decided to do something about it, regardless of his comfort or physical condition. He decided to collect 100,000 books for libraries in Eastern Kentucky communities that can't afford them. So far, he's collected about 50,000. That's where we are today, and there's more coming, so just be prepared. Boxes and boxes of books from all over the country. I got 10,000 books the other day from California, out of the blue, didn't call nobody, didn't write nobody, didn't talk to nobody, they just come to my house on a tractor and trailer, there's 10,000 books that somebody donated and paid the freight of them from California to my house. So, uh, how the world... Words getting out, I don't know. I really don't. Many have already been distributed to libraries in Carter, Elliott, Menifee, and Morgan counties. 3,000 books were delivered to the Powell County Public Library, and the library director says it has been a really long time since they received their last big gift. The last time Powell County received a load of free books was back in the mid-60s when Senator Nick Billings went to Frankfurt brought a load of books back to establish the Powell County Public Library more than 40 years ago. Understanding the value of education. Kentucky's First Lady, Jane Bashir was on hand to honor Mr. Davis's generosity. That is going to make such an impact on the lives of children all over eastern Kentucky. She, on behalf of the governor, made Mr. Davis an honorary Kentucky colonel. I think that's called the power of one. And I tell you what, I'm proud he's a Kentuckian.